So I am anticipating at this point that you will have met integration, uh, first year A-level maths integration um, at least, um, and you will probably have met the trapezium rule already uh, as a numerical method to approximate an area uh, under a curve. So if you haven't met the trapezium rule yet, um, the idea is that with integration, uh, you're able to find the exact area between a curve and the x-axis, between two limits. Um, however, there are some functions that we cannot integrate. And so what we need is some way of estimating that area, or rather approximating that area, not estimating, approximating that area. And that means we've got to fall back on some form of numerical method in order to do it. Now, the trapezium rule is one of those methods. So it breaks the curve up into trapeziums, works out the area of all those trapeziums, adds them all together, and then you get your approximation. Now, that's not the only way that you can do it. You can just do it with rectangles. So one takes the first limits. Okay, and uses those. One takes the second ones and uses those. Um, the first of the two new methods that I'm going to be introducing in these videos is the mid-ordinate rule, which rather than taking the first limit or the end limits, it takes the mid-limits, okay, or the mid-ordinates. So, what does it look like visually? Well, if this is your curve, and here's your x-axis, and you want to work out the area between that point and, let's say, that point, then what I want to do is I'm going to split it up into um, uh, equal parts. Okay, so let's go there. So one there. And there, one there. Okay, I'm just going to go up to the curve. Okay, these are meant to be of equal width. They're not quite, but that will have to do. Okay, you'll get the idea. Then each of these are your x ordinates. So you could label this as x0, x1, x2, x3, and x4. And the heights of each of these lines can be labeled as y0, y1, y2, y3, and y4. And they are the ordinates. So you've got the x-ordinates and the y-ordinates. Now, what the mid-ordinate rule will do is it will find that halfway point, which is there, and it will make your rectangle based on that value. Okay, so you can see that it tries to estimate the area under that curve by finding the area of this rectangle. And likewise, the next one will find the midpoint between x1, x2, find the corresponding y value, and then use that rectangle. And this one will find you the halfway point there, and find you that rectangle. And then we get the midpoint there, and we get that rectangle, okay? And we add the areas of those four rectangles together, and we will get an approximation for the area. So, at this point here, we would say that the y-ordinate would be y one-half, and here we would have y three-halves, and y five-halves, and y uh, seven-halves. Okay, so how do I work out that total area? Well, let's say that this is the point A and this is the point B, and I am trying to approximate this integral. Well, it will be approximately equal to whatever the width of the strip is, so h, times by y one half and then h times y three-halves, and h times y five-halves, plus h 
times y, seven halves. And of course you could factor that h out and you get this. So when you see it in the formula booklet, so there is the formula for this in the AQA formula booklet, what you get, let me just uh, make sure I get the same labeling. So between a and b, y dx will be approximately equal to h times, we get the y one half, y three halves, then plus dot 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 dot, all the way up to y uh, n take away three halves, plus y n take away one half. So that will be the last of your mid-ordinates, and that will be the penultimate mid-ordinate. And so that is the mid-ordinate rule, okay? And that is the formula that's given to you in the AQA formula booklet. It's very straightforward to use, just you make sure that you've got a table of values um, when you're doing this. And of course, um, H is calculated in much the same way as you would when you're using the trapezium rule because it's the width of your, each of your strip. So H is equal to, you want that distance, which is B take away A, and then divide it by the number of strips you are considering. Now the number of strips here is N, um, and that should be identified in the question.